Hello and welcome to Bravo Learning Base. Jonathan here. In this video, I will show you how you can upgrade your Umbrago 9 project to Umbrago 10. Great. So now let's get started. Before we get started, make sure to take a backup of your site and database in case something goes wrong while upgrading to Umbrago 10. Okay, now we can go ahead and upgrade our project to Umbraco 10. So first step is to open up our folder with our project. I open, it, I open it up here and I open it up in Visual Studio. Once Umbraco has been opened up, we can go to Tools up here, go to Nougat Package Manager and manage Nougat Packages for solutions. So we go in here. And we can see the installed versions of Abrago and we can see that there's a new version available. So let's go ahead and choose the project that we want to upgrade. And go down here to version and choose, choose the version that we want to install. We of course want to install Umbrago 10. Let's go ahead and do so. And let's click install. So now Umbrago 10 is being installed on our project. accept the, the license acceptances. Great, we can now see that Umbrago 10 has been, been installed on our project. But before we start our project up, we need to do a couple of things first. The first thing we have to do is to go to our CS project file. And then here, we need to change the target framework from .NET 5 to .NET 6. And once that's done, we can continue. Okay, the next step is that we need to go to our program.cs file over here, and we need to replace the following code with the snippet from this from the documentation here. So let's just take it here and go back and um, replace the snippet here. Press save. Once we replaced the snippet, everything looks good. Now we need to go ahead and remove some files in our project as they are no longer uh, necessary, as they are being used as static web assets instead. So here in Visual Studio, we need to go to into the Umbrago folder and delete the following files, partial view macro, Umbrago back office, Umbrago install, and Umbrago website folder. So let's go ahead and delete them, say yes, and now they're being deleted. Once they've been deleted, we also need to go into the config folder and delete, delete the language folder as well. So let's go ahead and delete it. Once it has been deleted, we also go to the, the www root folder and delete the Umbraco folder as well. Great. And once it's done, we're now ready to go ahead and run our project. Go over here to our project to the right and right click and build the solution. As you can see, the project is now being built. Now it's done and as we can see, it was successful. Now that it's done building, let's go ahead and run our project by going up here. This will open up our website in a new browser where we can finish the installation. We get into this um, upgrading screen here, where we can see that we are upgrading our project. Let's go ahead and click continue. And now it's finishing up the upgrade of our project. And once it's done, we're going to be redirected to our CMS. Great, as we can see, we're now in the back office. Let's just go up and click here. We can see that we are running Umbrago 10 now, and we have some content, some content here. Let's uh, just take a quick look. Cool, it looks all, all looks great. Let's go to the info, and let's take a look at our front end to make sure that everything is working as expected. Cool, as we can see, 
we have a bit of content here and we can see that our site is successfully working. Awesome. Great. So now we have successfully upgraded our Umbraco 9 project to Umbraco 10. Do note that SQL CE is no longer a supported database engine in Umbraco 10 and there is no official migration path so from SQL CE to another database engine. There's a few options that you can do to migrate from the one database to another and I'll make sure to link the options as well as the documentation on how to upgrade your project in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Jonathan out.